You're watching Greater Brockton. Mark Lindy, your host, and today I have a familiar face to cable television. I have John Drzinskis, a friend of mine. Good to see you, John. How you doing, Mark? Thank you for having me on. You're welcome. Once so, again. <laughs> so this time we're not promoting Lithuanian culture right. like we were with the concert, um, or you're not running for office at the moment. N uh, not at the moment. Okay. Not but, John, you're involved with the Brockton Democratic City Committee, as am I. I'm the Ward 1 Right. And every year we do a memorial breakfast. In the past it was dedicated to Gene Sullivan, mm -hmm. but with the passing of Paul Red Sullivan, it's now the Gene and Paul Sullivan, Sullivan breakfast. breakfast. That's correct. Okay. Yep. And this year, because of the strange scheduling of the state primary on September 4th, we couldn't get it in before Labor Day weekend. Mm -hmm. So we're doing it on Sunday the 16th. That's correct. 10 o'clock start or 9.30 start? Same place. Yep. Uh, the VFW Club in, uh, here in Brockton, post 1046. Uh, thank you to the veterans, by the way, for letting us use their hall every single year. Um, the club is located at 283 North Quincy Street here in Brockton for the folks that don't know where it is. Right, right in the heart of Ward 6. Heart of Ward 6. Where you live. Yes. Okay, yep. and the VFW, they are very hospitable. Um, neighbors and they you know who we, we like to support them too yes. because all the people that serve are still with us that are veterans or the people that ultimately gave the ultimate sacrifice mm -hmm. that's what the VFW is all about Absolutely. the post commander everybody's cooperative over there it's a great place to have an event I had my wedding reception there, so I love the Brockton VFW. I'm actually a member of the VFW Auxiliary there, the same okay. post, 1046. Exactly, yep. and, yep. and you, the Auxiliary does great things for Brockton, too. Yes. So the city committee, Paul Red Sullivan, for those that didn't know him, was a lifelong Democratic activist. But he was in Brockton as long as I've known him, which is close to 40 years. When I started in politics, when I was 14 and took a class at Brockton High, he was the guy running the campaign headquarters. And Jean Sullivan was a lovely woman who supported everything that Paul did. Yep. As she used to say, put up with him. <laughs> okay, now Paul didn't give you a hard time unless he liked you. Yes. If he didn't like you, he didn't give you a hard time. Right. Paul was very political. Paul worked on a lot of campaigns. Paul ran a lot of campaign headquarters. On the license commission. Okay, right. and he was, um, he was actually very strict but very fair also. Yeah, and, he was. Yeah. And, he had one of the best political correction, collections I've ever seen in my life. Buttons, bumper stickers. Um, we won't give away what's going to be on the cover of the booklet, but it'll be a treat yes. for people to see it. For sure. Because yeah. he had a lot of friends. He, yeah. Paul... He had a lot of friends on the national level I also. I believe he had a set of cufflinks from Bill Clinton, if I don't mistake uh -huh. I know he had quite... Uh, someday I want to do a retrospective of his collection, but I'm going to have to talk to Paula about that. Yep. So the breakfast is on the 16th, 10 o'clock. How do you get tickets? Well, tickets, uh, advanced tickets are $20 per person. Mm -hmm. um, they're going to be, uh, we will be selling tickets at the door, but they will be $25. Tickets uh, are available from me, okay? You can contact me at 508-586-8599. Or if email is more convenient, my email address is Drzinskis27 uh, at gmail.com. Okay. And um, the folks can contact, contact me and um, pay for the ticket, and I can either send them the, the, uh, the ticket or uh, we can hold them at the door for them. Okay. Now, all the ward chairs have tickets. Yes. I have tickets, but I can't sell them. Right. My wife is going to handle that because I'm a state of can't touch money, handle money. Terry's a good sell sales money. person. Okay, yeah, yeah. and we were all given 10 tickets in each ward. 10 tickets, But yes. there were more available. You're not limited. You don't have to buy the tickets from your ward chair. Now, if you want to find out who your ward chair is, we have brockendems.org. That's correct. We have yeah. a Facebook page mm -hmm. um, on, for Brockton Democratic City Committee, so you can find out that. Uh, Deb Garland is the chair. Mm -hmm. She has tickets. Um, mm -hmm. The of the city committee, I, do they have tickets too? I believe they do, yes. Okay, yeah. okay. Yeah. and uh, the tickets don't, they go to cover the cost of the breakfast, but basically go to the scholarship. Scholarship, we are presenting, one of the things we do uh, at this breakfast is present a $500 scholarship to a young person that's, that will be attending college in the fall, 
and um, it's in honor of Paul Stadensky Sr., who was a longtime city councilman here, also a former mayor. And state representative. And state representative. All three. Yeah, I almost forgot about that. And, mm -hmm. I, uh, John, I, I understand um, they upped the scholarship. I believe it's going to be 1,000. I think so. It, it, I, and, think and we're, I think it's going to uh, go yeah. to one person. We used to do yeah. 500 to each, to a each. male and a female. A male I think and we're female. doing one yep. because we were able to raise some more money. Um, I know Ray Henningsen gave some money to the city committee. Right. And we want right. to thank him for that. Yes, absolutely. Well, I think he gave a good chunk a, of that a money. good chunk and, uh, but we have to replenish that every year because we're not flush with cash and in order to get the cash we have we do the breakfast we used to do day at the races too and right. then the racetrack closed yeah. long story but who knows we'll yeah. see if we get any of that back. this this has become uh, over the years this has become the uh, BDCC's uh, biggest fundraiser right so um, you know we kind of depend on the uh, the folks to to come and support us and uh, Democratic City Committee, and um, not only uh, for Democrats, but in the community at large. And we have a special speaker, do we not? We do. Keynote we do. Keynote speaker? Yes, a keynote speaker, a guest speaker. Um, we, hopefully, um, this will be a sellout, and I urge people to buy their tickets in advance. Uh, don't be left out, because the guest speaker will be Massachusetts Attorney General Mara Healy who okay. is a wonderful speaker. She's a very dynamic. If you have not heard Mara speak, uh, she's an exciting, dynamic speaker. And she's running? Yes. She's the Democratic nominee because she doesn't have another competitor. Oh, right. And um, some of the other candidates have competitors, so we can't really have them. Sp they can speak about the candidacy, but they can't be the keynote. Exactly. Okay, and exactly. Mara's a draw wherever she goes. Yes. Uh, when she came to Brockton, when the NAACP did their forum between uh, Warren Tolman at the time and Mara Healy over at the Fuller Craft, she, she was a hit there. Mm -hmm. They both were. They both, they were both yeah. One of them won, and she won the seat. Two, so, years, two years ago, I heard her speak at the uh, Democratic State Convention in Worcester, and I was really impressed, really impressed. She's very dynamic. She, uh, um, she's, she, she fights for the residents of Massachusetts. Yep, and, and she fights against uh, some of the things that are going on uh, in this country. Some of the negative things coming out of and, Washington. And joined together with other attorney generals from around the country. Yep. Now, I know the other part that supports the there's a booklet, there's a tribute booklet to Paul and Jean mm -hmm. with a nice picture on the cover, but inside the booklet is about the committee. We have union support. We have the local 144 firefighters that always support us. Yep. Um, there are a couple of other unions that support us. Elected officials can put ads in the book. Can anybody get an ad in the book? Uh, just about anyone can get an ad in the book. Unless you're a Republican. Yes. Unless you're a Republican, yes. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So they would contact you for that? They would. They would. There are ad levels, but uh, if anyone is interested in placing an ad, they can contact me at those same two contact numbers. Uh, I, I would caution um, your viewers that the uh, deadline for ads is September 8th. The printer needs that, that deadline to get the uh, program bo booklet together for the breakfast. Well, that's perfectly reasonable. And yeah. Good Union Printer is printing the booklet. Yes. So, yeah. can, so I, can I give them a plug? Sure. Okay. It's Printing Unlimited in Holbrook. Okay. Right, on, right, 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 right on the right, 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 off the, right off the square. Yes. Because yes. we support unions, unions support us. Yep. I'm a union member from Mass Teachers Association. I think it's important. Unions gave eight-hour workday, the 40-hour work week, overtime, things like that. Yep. So I'm going to wrap. John, okay. thank you for being on. Thank Appreciate you. It. Thank you for having me on. And, uh, See you at the breakfast. Uh, one last thing, okay, if I may. Uh, real quick. Uh, real quick, I would uh, urge people to get out and vote on uh, the day after Labor Day, September 4th. Thank you. Yep. You're watching Greater Brockton. Mark Lindy, your host. Stay tuned for more events, places, people, and faces.